So welcome back VR fans to another video. So far we've looked at Auto Hand and Hurricane VR and those are assets that you have to pay for. But what about some free alternatives? I've managed to find a package called Ultimate XR. So let's dive right in and take a look at this completely free VR interaction framework. So I actually found um, Ultimate XR through a website that I go to pretty much daily called uh, Road to VR, which is all about VR news. And on there, there was a link um, directing me to an article that was all about Ultimate XR, where you can build XR content easier, faster, better. Let's have a look at the teaser and let's see what this is all about. So this is Ultimate XR. Let's say you can do some very fine motor skills kind of stuff. From developers to developers. For Unity. Got some nice dials there going. Levers and switches. Shooting guns. Opening doors and hatches. You see the hand was forming to the shape of the, of the, um, the object. Looks like you've got some kind of pose control there as well. Oh, that's pretty neat. So some two-handed interactions. Can't believe this is free. It looks absolutely insane. You've got an, an avatar that comes with it as well. To get hold of it, it's as easy as going to ultimatexr.io and then going to download. And it's going to download you a Unity package, which you can then bring in. I think it's like over Unity 20. 21.1 and higher or something like that uh, and then when you bring in the package you go would go to your build settings and then click on the player settings and we're going to want to make sure we're using the XR plugin management and we've selected oculus in the list it's going to import everything we need and um, so I'm using my rift here if we want to build it later to the quest then we'll go to our android one and we'll choose oculus 2. for a minute i'm just going to be running it on the desktop so i've got oculus installed and then I've now navigated to the Ultimate XR folder, gone down to examples, and then full scene, and then clicked on the Ultimate XR underscore URP. And that's opened up this cool looking asset. Looks really futuristic. And you can see here in this room, we've got our avatar. So not only do we have our hands, but we've also got our torso and head as well, which is really nice. And to think this is all completely free as well. Uh, and I've gone through this demo and inside it, you've got a couple of areas you can go to. Um, now, I think it's always being worked on and updated. And as you can see, it says soon available on the screen. I imagine there'll be some further interactions going on in this room. There's some nice stuff going on here with um, like joints and stuff, which we'll look at in a second. Uh, and then in the other room, we have a shooting gallery. So we can test out some um, guns and grenades and bits and pieces like that. And then um, inside this room is a controller room device inspection and it says soon available so I'll be excited to see what that turns into. So without further ado let's jump into VR and see what this is all about. So I've got my arms and you can see they're all connected up um, and it feels really really accurate you know when I kind of move my elbow I'm getting that motion uh, in the joint just there if you can see whoop, whoop. and that's me in the mirror. Hello! Free! Whoop, whoop. And we've got a teleport, so we can um, use our thumbsticks to teleport around the environment. And our right stick on my controller is uh, using the snap turn feature. Let's go out of this room, let's go and see what else is going on. We can go to the shooting range, or we can go to the hand interactions. I reckon, through the power of my psychic abilities, that you're saying weapon system. So let's go and have a look in there first. They're going to reach out, stand in front of the unit open the door that's really cool and let's go and have a look at and see what some of these um, interactions are here with these with these guns so you can see the hands Jesus that was loud but you can see um, hands forming to the gun there uh, and it's two hand as well and that feels really good that's actually probably better than the um, Hurricane VR two-handed interaction. It feels a lot more responsive. And then we've got our cartridges here, which you can see our hands form nicely to them, making it feel really realistic. And we're going to take another cartridge, plug it in, and shoot away. Oh yeah. And of course, let's not forget our trusty grenade. Pull the pin and chuck. Nice. 
and this looks like a slightly different gun. So you can grab it, and I think you've got to cock it. That's what it's called, the technical term. So for free, I mean, you're getting your you're getting your avatar, which is awesome, all rigged up, looking really nice. Getting some really nice interactions, all the usual bits and pieces, grabbing, two-handed stuff, having the hand poser, that's really cool as well. And it's so good that it's you don't have to pay a penny for it. Let's go and test out some of these hand interactions. We're in a room here. Looks like I'm about to do. Looks like I'm about to do an operation. Oh, that's cool. So you can grab it, two hands, move it around, manipulate it on this arm, and it's all going to um, move according to the joints that are set up. Very neat. This. Ah, oh, right, cool. It's like a little laser that you can draw on the surface. And that's all rigged up too. And so is the monitor. And we'll work with two hands as well. That's really cool. Let's go and see what these things are. These remind me of fuel cylinders. So you can't move it up and down, it'll only slide out, so that's cool. It's like it's got some restriction on its movement, which makes it feel like you're actually interacting with it in the world a little bit. And then we'll go over to the, one of these bins, open it up, pop it in, and close it. Very, very cool. Let's go and have a look at the other controller room device inspection. Room available. Intrigued to know what they're going to do with this. Looks like they're almost certainly going to be updating it over time. It does tell you on that little board device controller Rift CV1. It's telling me what my uh, what headset I'm using and the, the controllers that are being used as well. Oh, I press buttons. You can see stuff going on on the little chart indicating what I'm doing. Yeah, I love it. I can't believe this is free. All your standard interactions are there. You've got, you've got your body and your avatar, which is great to have. I imagine it's probably quite simple to set up. Uh, in there, you've got all your grabbing interactions, restricting movement, joints and two-handed interactions, and the same in with the shooting as well. So out of the box, you can do an awful lot with this. And the XR Interaction Toolkit is great. You know, it's free too. But it's nice to have an alternative which have, which have a few more features rolled in there with it as well. So let's just take a quick look in the hierarchy and see what's going on. Killed my poor microphone again. Okay, so the, the, the scene, you know, there's not much going on in the hierarchy. We've got a cyborg avatar example with a UXR avatar script on it, which um, is pretty extensive. And I'm sure there'll be some kind of supporting documentation on their website and it looks like it's got a community there as well and it's got get started yeah here we go so all the documentation's there as well or like the setup and using the, the bits and pieces and uh, i think the bulk of it is actually here so underneath the cyborg avatar example we've got the, the camera controller which has got a uxr camera wall fade script on it so that if you put your head too close to the walls uh, it's gonna then create like a quad I think probably in front of the camera or near the camera's near clipping plane, which will fade up to black when you get in a wall so you can't cheat. Cyborg, what's the cyborg? That's our avatar there. It's got the geometry for the cyborg and the cyborg rig as well. It all looks like it's fairly standard rigged and something that you could easily adapt for your own models. And you've got a big hand integration. So you've got uh, your left and your right hand, and you've got grabbers, sensors, all different stuff going on. But it doesn't look like it's like too much. It all looks like it's all nicely put together as well. You've got scripts for like teleporting and bits and pieces like that. And lots of sensors. And you've got sensor support for different kinds of VR headsets. So we've got the HTC Vive. Uh, HTC Vive Cosmos and Focus 3, Oculus Rift, Eco Neo, so that there's some massive support with it as well across different types of headsets, which is great. Let's look at how something simple like one of the interactable objects is set up. Let's take a look at this cylinder. It's actually a battery. Yeah, so we were interacting with a battery in this room. And it's got a, all again, very standard when you compare it to something like 
um, Hurricane and Auto Hand and XR Interaction Toolkit. There's a grabbable script on this thing um, that allows you to tap into different kinds of features for when you're grabbing in this object. I can't see any events in here that you can tap into, you know, for when you've picked up this object and done something with it. But that said, this is my first time looking at it. And uh, I imagine if we opened up the script, uh, it's probably something we could tap into quite easily to extend and create custom interactions. So all in all, massive thumbs up from me. I can't believe this is, f you know, free when you compare it to some of the prices of the other ones. And it's all open source as well. And from what I can read, they're going to be doing regular updates and, and improvements. So um, it's one to watch for sure. And uh, maybe to get on board early and try and figure out how it's all put together. And you can certainly use the scene as a template to build some of your own interactions off of. So it's ultimatexr.io. Go check it out and see if it's something that would work for your VR games. As always, I'll put a build of this up on my Patreon page. So patrons can have a play around uh, and also with this project that's all set up and ready to go as well. So if you've liked what you've seen and you're not subscribed, then please consider hitting that button below. It really helps out the channel and it's going to keep you updated with new videos as well and all the cool content coming out in the next couple of weeks. But that's it for now and I'll see you in the next one.